Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday where we explore a feature in just a few minutes. In this week's video we're discussing how to create sources. These new entities in version 18 allow you to control grid density in the isentropic portion of your volume grids or blocks as we call them in pointwise. The source creation panels share an interface with the database creation panels. In fact, if you know how to use the connectors creation panel or the draw shapes creation panel, then you already know how to create the sources. However, there are two main differences. First, sources are a golden yellow color denoted by a star shape, as shown here, whereas databases are pink. Second, after you have created a source with the draw shapes panel, you can go back and edit the shape. That is not possible for databases created from the draw shapes panel. Let's create some simple sources. First, let's create a point source. Go up to the create menu, go down to where it says points and click on that. Note that in the entity type there are two things you can create here. You can create the pink database point or you can create the golden star source. Now there are a couple ways to do this. You could type in the coordinates or you could just go out into the display field and click. And I'll push OK. And right now we have created a point source. I'll select that point source. And I can change the spacing and decay values right in the list. Just double click here. Another way to do this is to select the source and go up to grid sources. That opens up a fourth tab which gives you the ability to change the spacing and decay values for your source. Now let's create a line source. You can use the common interface for creating connectors. Notice the entity types, connectors, databases, and of course sources. Right now we have sources selected. Um, I have the segment type as line. I'm just going to create several segments here. Push OK. And of course we have a line source right here. I can change the values right in the list tree just by double clicking or once again select your source and go into grid sources and it will bring up the fourth tab which allows you to change the spacing and decay values. Finally let's create a shape source and for that we use the draw shapes menu. Let's create a box. Uh, again in the entity type you can create either a database entity or a source entity and this is fairly straightforward. The options are the polygon, box, a cylinder, sphere. Let's create a simple box. Just click the extents. I'm going to rotate it so I can grab the green handles. That'll stretch it in each of these directions. And when I push OK, I suddenly have a three-dimensional source in the shape of a box. I can change the parameters on that source in the list tab, or once again, I can select the source and go up to the grid sources. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.